There were so many issues, a very interesting discussion. Uh, and, uh, you know, I, I could stay here all night, but I'm not going to. So I'm, I'm going to try and focus on, on really the question at hand here, which is about inflation. Uh, and, and I thought, Mr. Muma, you, you, were, you were very sober on this because I think your answer, well, inflation got the American saver, was uh, not necessarily. Uh, and, and I would agree with you. And uh, the historical evidence uh, overwhelmingly suggests there, there isn't a very strong relation between inflation and saving. Uh, and if you start with our own country, uh, we reached some of our highest savings rates in the, in the post-war period. Uh, in the latter half of the 1970s and the early 1980s when they were, they were pushing around about 10%, almost 11%, well, almost 11% in a couple of years in the early 80s, this is a period of very high inflation. Same thing in Japan. Japan reaches its highest savings rates uh, in 1975, 23% at, at actually much higher uh, inflation rates, maybe in the upper 20s, very high. Uh, same case in most of the European countries, Western Europe. Also very high savings at the time of high inflation. Now, we move into the 1990s in the first half of the 2000s. This has hardly been a period of inflation in the United States. In fact, it's been a period of sustained low inflation, but this is precisely the period when Americans basically stop saving. Uh, so I, I guess one question would be, with all the things that actually have impacted low savings in America, uh, things like very generous, easy credit, I would say an unregulated finance industry, maybe a hard thing for, for the two gentlemen up here to, no, to comment. Okay, good. <laughs> <You're an adult. laughs> um, cred predatory lending, collapse of the housing bubble, which was seen in the last 15 years as the, the major way of saving, erroneously, by, by a great many American households, even the vaunted middle class that, that Barbara likes to talk about. Um, with all those real problems that have reduced saving in America, why are we worried about a problem inflation that actually hasn't happened and that historically does not seem to have much of an impact? And if I could just make one other quick comment on the welfare state, does Social Security erode saving? Again, very, very little evidence of that. Uh, even though it was Martin Feldstein's, uh, one of his theses, but it was totally done by models. It has no uh, bearing on the, the real world. Uh, and it's very interesting that if you look around the world today and see some of the highest saving nations, uh, with the exception of China and India, most of them are in Western Europe. Germans have over 10%, French have over 10%, the Swedes have over 10%, and they're all super welfare states. So uh, it just, well, the welfare state thing you may not want to deal with, but the inflation is really interesting. I, I just don't think it's a problem worth worrying about. Well, maybe I can uh, uh, lead by way of an apology here. When I first heard of the project on thrift, uh, I remember talking to Barbara and suggesting, well, this is, this is terrible if you are successful at introducing, reintroducing thrift into the American culture and inflation arrives uh, to, to punish the saver. And I, and I think that there is an element of truth to that. Yeah. But, and, and I will get out of the way on this one rapidly, um, but I think the thing to be concerned about is if you have a culture of savings and then you go into an inflationary environment, uh, the response of that society is save more, not less. And then this debate about real rate of return or not real rate of return takes in. But the concern I'd have is if we have defeated the culture of savings in the boom, and now we roll into an inflationary period, right as we're trying to revive a culture of savings, it could destroy the effort, it could make it stillborn, but also we might not get the same positive dynamic, uh, Professor, that you outlined. So I, I think it's still an object of some concern. So. I think that was a really wonderful uh, discussion of some of the in, in, partly in answer to Sean's question about what reasons were why we stopped saving. So thank you for that, Shalba. I just want to say the one of the reasons that we asked this question was that when we go out and tell people about our, you know, we want to encourage savings and thrift is a virtue that we want to encourage and uh, reanimate and revive, uh, inevitably people will say, well, that's the stupidest idea I ever heard of because think about inflation. It's going to kill. Say. So the idea is out there, whether it's legitimate or not. This is our way of trying to wrestle with it. So thank you.